In this life, few are blessed to find their true calling. The unquenchable passion that forges an innate focus and determination. Night and day, it consumes your mind. It cannot be shaken. No obstacle too daunting to overcome. No failure too painful to surrender. The struggle only adds sweetness to the victories. For us, this is duck hunting. This is Foul Minds. We started uh, the Refuge Duck Club, I guess, because you know my my buddies up there. They're all farmers, and they uh, they have access to some really good property. Uh, you know, some of it that, that is, is family owned. Uh, some of it is, is is leased land through their farms, and uh, you know, it's a prime location in the Delta. A lot of ducks, and we just saw. Um, an opportunity there to create a, a really good uh, club that you know is low pressure um, between their uh, their farming resources and, and my um, my experience in the hunting uh, commercial hunting industry. You know, we just kind of came together and partnered, and, and the Refuge Duck Club was born. The slough at Goose Lake on the cattle ranch is it's a great spot. Um, you know, that, that little hole there always holds some ducks. And uh, Lee Michael and I had been watching it. Uh, we hadn't hunted it yet the, the, that season. And um, it, it had some ducks in it. And there was enough ducks in there for, you know, I think we had like three or four guys come in and, and we thought we could go in there and, and kill a limit. The only problem with that spot is it's about 10 inches of water, which is perfect, but it, under that 10 inches of water is about two and a half foot of mud. I was thinking, you know, it's real muddy on that flat where we're gonna put the boat in. You wanna, does everybody have waders? Yeah. You wanna walk in there while it's dark and hunt, and then when we pick up, we can put the boat in. Cause I was thinking, I'd hate to get the <laughs> stuff down there. Yeah, I told you that yesterday. Hunt, you know what I mean? Yeah. What do you think about that? <laughs> Sounds like it's our only option. I think that'd be the safest bet. Yeah. After watching you and uh, what's his name, Clayton's videos last night on YouTube. Oh, we tear everything up. Yeah, I was like, maybe no, we should. No, we'll, we'll break that in half. Yeah. <laughs> no, I won't. Clayton will. Yeah. Yeah, you see how my stuff well, maybe we'll just, functions we'll put properly. We'll in, in daylight after the hunt, just yeah. in case something happens. <laughs> or fall down. That's it. Yeah, it's done. Long story short, we got the bike stuck. So we're walking out, not far, probably about three mile walk, and we're gonna go on a different pole. It was a mess, <laughs> but it was one of those moments you never forget. It was pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> we made it work, you know. We we ended up uh, going and hunt somewhere else on the farm that morning, but we learned a lesson that. The only boat going in, in, in that slough is an airboat because you can't drive a buggy even close to it. I feel like it was important for Hayden to start a, a duck club like this because that's ultimately the style of hunting he likes to do. You know, he's been with me, you know, I'm sure as y'all saw in season one, uh, we did a little bit of exploring going out and roughing it and uh, he was not a big fan of that. So. A big part of what Hayden loves about duck hunting is the camaraderie aspect of it. And sometimes I think he enjoys the that almost more than the duck hunting, which is understandable. I think duck hunting is different things to different people. So, you know, just the most memorable things about the club, man, it's, it's just the friendships. You know, we 
we had some really good duck hunts. We said we had some really good times, but just being up there and, and the people are, are amazing. So of course, you know, when, when I think about a duck club, the first thing I think of is like, this is going to be easy. You know, there's a, uh, you know, we're getting, we can wear white gloves out there and, uh, you know, won't even have to bleach them when we get home. Right. But, uh, in true foul minds fashion, we had to break something. So, so, uh, what happened? So I was scouting there on the back 40 and, uh, miraculously in foul minds fashion, miraculously, this, uh, tire just about comes off the rim. It's unseated. So figure instead of destroying this rim, I better figure out how to get it back on the the rim and air it up. So I think we'll just take the bus over there and uh, try to get it back on the tire. All right, we're gonna siphon some fuel out of Hayden's boat, don't tell him. up the uh, back of the buggy where and try to seat the bead I believe we have it jacked up enough hide let up so we're gonna put some of grandpa's old cough medicine in here and uh, see if we can seat this bead so what did I lose the lighter already oh, it's in my hand work <laughs> what now right oh that probably can't be good yeah boy <laughs> Yeah, I mean that's just that's just has foul mines written all over it. I don't know what else to say about that. Um, one of my favorite people there is one of the guides, uh, Lee Lee Michael, and uh, Lee Michaels. First of all, he's just a character, but on top of that, he's just enthusiastic about hunting and enthusiastic about hunting in the river. So I hunt a lot of public land, uh, such as rivers, but we don't do a lot of flooded timber hunting where I'm from. Where we ended up setting up, we had turkeys roosting in the tree behind us, so uh, wrong season apparently. But uh, yeah, it was just a, a good time getting to experience that, and I'd, I'd never experienced it firsthand. The second hunt that I really liked, or another hunt that I really liked, was the uh, hunting with Jack. Pretty good hunt this morning. Was uh, saw some greenheads yesterday, but uh, didn't have many of those come in. Just. Uh, just these gad while we ended up with six. Definitely could have shot a few more, like those uh, two on the that landed on the water. I looked up over my head when I heard Jack turn around. He said, "Get those!" And I, so I popped up and started shooting the ones in the air. And I should have been shooting the ones on the water. Got the wrong those. Got the <laughs> got the wrong ones. Yep. So we ended up with six gad wall. Got something to put on the barbecue pit tonight. So. We're gonna go on another scout and hopefully uh, the rest of this week looks good. I'm excited about this year. You know, we've got some new farms that we have water on. Um, we Last year we learned a lot about where the ducks wanted to be. We like to have fun and, and shoot ducks and, and relax and cook and hang out and, you know, take it easy. And I think that's why people keep coming back and, and they enjoy it, you know, because 
it's just a good place to go. And just like I said, my hopes for her that it, it continues to grow and, and uh, you know, it keeps getting better and better every year. In this life, few are blessed to find their true calling. The unquenchable passion that forges an innate focus and determination. Night and day, it consumes your mind. It cannot be shaken. No obstacle too daunting to overcome. No failure too painful to surrender. The struggle only adds sweetness to the victories. For us, this is duck hunting. This is Foul Minds.